What's up everybody, it's Priyon Joni. So today's video is gonna be unedited. I'm gonna do it in one take because I have no way to edit my videos right now because my MacBook Pro is in the shop at the Apple Store getting a battery replacement. And since they're replacing the top case, it's gonna be in for a week, but it's not gonna stop me from making videos for you guys. So today we're gonna to talk about the DDJ 800 again. The Rekordbox DJ, DJ controller from Pioneer DJ. Now in my demonstration video a couple of videos ago, I told you guys that this, despite being a two channel controller physically, it is capable of doing four decks. So uh, in my video, I said that you can switch from deck two to deck four while deck two is still playing. And same thing going from deck one to deck three while deck one is still playing. Now, over the weekend, my friend Rosa Rorth, also known as Eudaimonia, she's a DJ and producer, I was doing some scratch lessons with her, and what I wanted to do was to actually play an instrumental on one of the decks and then just load the scratch tracks onto the decks so we can play with the jog wheel while an instrumental is playing in the background. Well, what was happening was, say... I'm on deck two, on the right deck. And I, oh, we're all the way at the end. So here we go. So we're playing on deck two. Now what happens is when I switch to deck four, the music gets muted. It's still playing on record box, but going from deck two to deck four, deck two gets muted. Put you in bag, and it kind of freaked me out because I just told the whole world in my demo video that this is a four deck capable controller that when you switch from deck two to deck four, that all your mixer settings will be retained and you will be able to simultaneously play deck two while playing deck four. And same goes for deck one and three. But that's not what's happening here. I did some Google searching and I couldn't find my answer. Maybe it was deep inside a review video, but I just could not find anything under the keywords, how to activate four decks with the DDJ 800. But there was this one video from Charlie Rodriguez that I kept coming across. In fact, it was the first one on the list of searches on YouTube, but I kept skipping it because his video is in Spanish. I don't understand Spanish because I don't speak Spanish. So I just skipped it, was hoping to find the answer on a different video. And then when I just was hopeless, couldn't find an answer, I decided, hey, why don't I just watch his video? If he goes through the menus, maybe I'll find what I'm looking for inside the preferences of Rekordbox DJ, despite his video being in a language that I can't understand. <coughs> Excuse me. Turns out that's what happened and I found the answer. Special shout out to Charlie Rodriguez. Thank you, because now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So in Rekordbox, basically, hope you guys can see that, you go into preferences, you go into the controller section and then on controllers, you know there's these little tabs here. There's deck, mixer, you go into mixer. There is a section called mixer mode and by default, the one that is selected is two channel. What you wanna go to is four channel. By doing that, you should now have all four decks capable of playing simultaneously. So let's go back to the beginning of the track that I had on deck two. So now when I switch to deck four, we should still hear deck two. There we go. And a couple of cool stuff about this. Oh. 
See? Mixer settings not responding now because I'm on deck four. So yeah, if you didn't hear what I said, when I'm on deck four, the mixer settings aren't responding. So here's another cool thing. Say on deck two, you apply some EQ on there. So I cut the bass, lowered the mids. When I switch to deck four, it retains the mixer settings that I had. Now what's also cool is, let's say I'm on deck four, and I turn the EQ back to neutral. When I go back to deck two, say I had, I had my bass all the way down. When I move the bass, nothing happens. And the reason why is because I have to bring it back to where I had the setting at, which was all the way down, in order to retain the bass control again. Same with the mids. I can boost these mids all the way up, nothing will happen until I go back to that setting I was at. And everything on the mixer section, gain, treble, mid, bass, I'm not sure about filter, but um, also the channel fader will be in a memory when you switch out of that deck. So let me try the color effects. Let's see if that works. Filter, switch over, put the filter back, switch back to deck two. Yeah, even the color effects have kind of a memory until you bring that, that knob or fader back to where you had it. So yeah, guys, that's how you activate the four deck capabilities of the two channel DDJ 800 DJ controller for Recordbox DJ from Pioneer DJ. Say that three times as fast. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.